and I am back. I am Sarim Khan studying in 5th standard and today welcome to SK Wonder Kids my channel and if you haven't subscribed to this channel so please subscribe this channel and today our topic is work energy and power and in work energy and power as we know that already one video I have made where I define to you that what is work done okay work done by a constant force and work done by a variable force and today we will study work done by a spring force okay what is the magnitude of work done by spring force they, we are going to deal with this so now work done by spring force first we know what is the spring force just like in our previous video we knew about work done by any constant force uh, okay or any variable force just like uh, about previous video i am telling you just like we had seen such cases we have any block of mass m now any external force f external acts over this block of mass m and here it is displaced little okay it has a displacement of magnitude as just like such we had seen so here we had seen work done by external force that is w equals to f external dot s this we have w equals to f external dot s but this is work done by any external force not work done by any spring force any gravitational force or any external force this those forces which we apply which we apply from external sides okay not from internal sides not gravity not its weight not normal contact force okay we have to but in this video we are going to learn spring force work done by spring force and just like in this video Video we can see over okay we have any block of mass m now here we have now imagine now here wall we have it is kept over the surface this block of mass m is kept over the surface now imagine here is a wall and uh, and near this wall any spring is attached okay and a spring is, is attached to this wall and to this wall and also this block of mass m and imagine now just like now imagine any for okay now what force will be applied by the spring on the block of mass m okay whatever force will be applied and imagine whatever be the displacement due to that force just like we can see imagine we are applying any external force f external in this direction we are trying to large and do this spring larger so now what we can do imagine up to here we bring later we leave this block of mass m now what we'll see then the spring will come okay this spring will compress again so by spring spring force will be exerted over block of mass m now due to this spring force now any displacement will be caused so now any spring force will be so here we have okay any spring force okay fs let us name it so here in this direction any spring force later in this direction any displacement will be this we have so now we have to find out what will be the work done by this spring force that is exerted by this spring okay so for finding that only we need to know that we know w magnitude let us take a very small displacement dx okay so for this what we can write w equals to okay dw we can write because for dx we'll have to take dw okay for very small displacement we need to take a small okay word so here our work done is dw whose magnitude is f dot dx okay because dx is our displacement okay let us take f as our spring a spring force this we have but Yes, we have dx dw now here we have we okay now only what we have to do we need to integrate them we'll integrate both sides okay left and right now we need to integrate but what limits will take so let us imagine that for okay the displacement values that at okay x value okay at any time x value is 0 and next time it is x value is x let us take x value z values 0 and x so what we'll get and w equal okay so here only zeros and x we have so we'll re, okay we'll try to put them as limits so here zero zero x and x so what we have dw okay integral zero x tends to x dw equals to integral zero x tends to x f dot dx this we have now finally we know according to hooke's law we know according to Hooke's law, F equals minus kx, where F is a spring force, any force exerted by the spring. F is minus kx, where k is our spring constant, x is our displacement. This we have, so at the place of x, we can put minus kx. So here we can put values, which is equals to integral. Now 0, 
x tends to x. Now we will put minus kx, minus kx dot now dx. This we have. So finally, what we are getting? That integral 0 extends to x dw equals to integral 0 extends to x minus kx dot dx. This we have integral 0 extends to x dw equals to integral 0 extends to x okay minus kx dot dx. Now this we have. Now if we try to integrate this so what value will get of course will get implies that dw. Okay, okay, now dw and w magnitude is same. So here dw will not put, we can simply put w, which is which we are taking here as work done by any spring force. So w equals to will solve this and after solving this what will get? Of course we know that we'll get here minus is minus. Now here when we'll integrate this so half will come, 1 by 2 will come. Of course we know. Now k as it is we can write. Now because this negative sign of k has gone here. Now what we'll do? Kx square. So finally what we are getting? W equals to minus half Kx square. So this is the work done by any spring force. Wherever just like but if the x value is 0 and x then this equation okay just like or x value for here we can see for x equals to 0 and x equals to x if x value is 0 and x so just like this equation can be used work done equals to minus half kx square but what if x values x1 and x2 what if at x values are not 0 and x so they are x1 and x2 so let me tell you that simply in those cases when x values are x1 and x2 so here just like in this only we are, okay what we have to do here we'll integrate them again so here okay just like dw we can write dw equals to integral now minus kx minus kx dot dx okay just like for x1 uh, x equals to 0 and x this equation we had but for x equals to x1 and x2 we need another equation okay for that equation here again we'll try to integrate so x1 okay here x2 x2 this we have will really integrate okay by taking those limits x1 x tends to x2 so finally we'll solve this so dw and w magnitude is same so we'll get okay implies that w we can simply write means work done equals to now what we'll get of course we know we'll integrate this okay this quantity will integrate so what we'll get we know that it is half k x1 square minus x2 square so finally what we are getting for this okay for okay this is one important equation for for x equals to x1 okay and x equals to x2 whenever x equals to x1 and x equals to F, x2 so w equals to or work done equals to half k bracket x1 square minus x2 square bracket close but when x equals to 0 and x equals to x so work done equals to minus half k x square so those are the work done by a spring okay for different cases for those two different cases for those two different values of x the equations differ so we have to only focus over case while solving this chapter's numerical okay especially based on work done by spring force we have to make sure the x values are 0 and x or x1 or x2 and after making sure we can use any of the above equation so this was my today's topic and if you haven't subscribed to this channel so please subscribe this channel thank you